Let's say that you have a set of props, like this, for a game or scene. You might have downloaded them online, or made them yourself, so they might have pre-baked textures. Each of them could have multiple materials, and about 15 textures in them. But that might be too many textures for a small asset like this, in a game. So you decide to combine them into one asset, and bake all their textures into one texture set. But wait. Once you lay out the UVs for baking combined, you see that the textures which they already had, don't match anymore. What do you do now? That's where multiple UV maps come in. Let's start with the lamp. Go to your object data properties, and in the UV maps tab, click the plus button to add a new UV map. Give it a simple name. Select the other objects and do the same, making sure that the UV map name is same in all. Once that is done, we'll modify these new UVs to fit all the objects in one map. Be sure to click the new UV map in the options, before making the changes. You'll now see that the object has two different UVs. Now let's add an image texture, on which these combined textures will be baked. To tell Blender that you are baking these using the new UV map, Add a UV map node and select the name of the new one on it. Select the image texture node before baking, and bake the textures you need. Remember to deselect clear image option before baking. Keeping this on will clear out the previously baked textures when baking a new object, which we don't want. As you can see, the baked texture has followed this new UV layout, without disturbing your original layout. Bake the rest of the necessary textures as you required. Remember to save your textures before going to a different object.
Now to check our textures, we'll make a copy of our objects and combine them. We don't need the original UV map in this, just a new one. Add the four textures we baked to the material. And there we go. We went down from about 15 textures, to only four. This method of multiple UVs is very helpful when we want to change the UV layouts, but also preserve the original UVs, which follow previously baked textures. If you wish to get this model, it's available for free on my patronage page, called Buy Me A Coffee. If you are a member you can get access to many other models and assets which are updated regularly. Links for it are in the description.